Hello and thank you for joining me. Hope you're all well. My name is Alan. Today's video is about erecting a shelter, primarily a poncho, something that you could have in your get home bag or your go bag. And it is especially suited for those that have zero experience of erecting a shelter system. There's no knots to learn in the field. So let's crack on. The system is based on the rapid ridge line, utilising toggles. It's something that Blackie Thomas and Dave Canterbury have progressed with, and it is something that is extremely useful. I have modified it slightly to suit my needs, the idea being that someone who's got zero experience now has a capability to put up a shelter relatively easy uh, with next to zero skills. Another thing that I've done is taken the rucksack hanger, for want of a better word. Yeah, it's a cordage you put around a tree trunk, utilising a toggle to hang your rucksack on to keep it off the ground. Uh, I have modified that and made it adjustable. Stick around and we'll have a look at it.
Hope my videoing wasn't as bad as I think it was, but it is what it is. Rapid Ridge Line. If you want to make one, Dave Canterbury's got a very good video. But basically, it's I've got about 25 foot of paracord. You tie an overhand loop in the top that is big enough for the toggle to pass through. The toggles, these are 80mm long, 16mm diameter, and then there's a 5mm hole drilled for it. This is made out of peak plastic. I got them done at work. You can use Delrin, which is another plastic. You can buy Delrin rods, so a quarter inch thick would do, on Amazon, then just hacksaw them to length, and then drill a hole through the middle for the diameter, or slightly larger than the diameter of your cordage. So there's your toggles. Then first of all, there is one prussic, which is basically just a loop, and then you pass it over itself three times and then pull it through. There are loads of videos on YouTube, have a look. If you can tie your shoelaces, you can tie a prussic knot. So there's a prussic loop, it's quite short, and I've just fixed a carabiner on there, purely, as you would have seen in the video, hopefully, that to attach the first part of the poncho to the ridge line, which will be one of the corners, because it has a grommet, or it might have a piece of shot cord through it, or a loop. If you don't have a carabiner or something, you've still got to work out how to attach one loop to another, which is easy enough to do, but this is all about simplicity. So by having a loop carabiner on there, it literally just clips through your grommet or your piece of shot cord. Next along is another Prusik, which is substantially longer than the others. This is just two mil comms cord. You can use whatever cord you've got. And lengthwise, it goes from the end of my finger to the middle of my chest. And then all I've done is I've doubled it over. So imagine a, a big loop of, you know, sort of two and a half foot long. And then I've tied knots in it approximately every six to eight inches. It hasn't got to be critical. The reason for those knots there, so it's very much like a jungle knot. But the reason that the knots are there is that if on the video you'd have seen that the poncho hood that was tied up had a little carabiner attached. So you just clip that on to whichever part of the, the cordage is closest and then you just slide that prussic along and that puts tension in that cord to the hood, pulling the hood up and giving you an increased amount of room within the poncho shelter itself. So that's just a longer prussic with knots in it. Then finally there's another prussic that is just looped. There's nothing to attach to this one. And this is the one that you use at the end of your ridge line. You want to have it about an arm's length away from your final destination as such, be it a tree, about an arm's length away. You then pass your last toggle around the tree. And then once you've passed it around the tree, you just, if the toggle's moving like that, if you just let the, the cordage hang over it and then pinch it there, that's what you're going to do. So you're going to pass it around the tree and then you're just going to pinch it. And then it goes through the prussic. And then you pull on your long length as such and as you pull that that tensions it so that will tension your ridge line and then when you come to actually taking the shelter down you just grip the toggle and then with a little pull don't need loads of muscles a little pull it slackens it all off enough for you to unthread it and to take the ridge line down so it is quick it's very efficient and you don't need to find pieces of wood or tie knots. So if you've got zero experience, it is, even if you are experienced, it's still a fantastic system. But this, I, I'm using this primarily for the good lady's poncho in a go bag, because she has next to zero experience of erecting a shelter system. And let's face it, whilst we're normally together, there could be circumstances that I'm at work and something happens and she has to leave the home. If she has to seek shelter herself, if we're separated, whatever. She's got the means to put up a shelter. So that's pretty much it. 
whilst we're talking about shelters, you want it low. So when you walk up to the, the tree or the fence post or the wall, whatever you're actually going to fix it off of, shake hands with it. So what I actually mean by that is when you're standing in front of it, just offer your hands if he's going to shake hands with it. And that is the height you want to do your, your ridge line because you want your shelter low. The lower it is, the less susceptible it is to wind. It's more unlikely to be spotted. And because it's a smaller area, your body heat will be retained a bit more. Yeah, you've got a smaller area to stay warm in. So that's why we want them relatively low. The rucksack toggle, for those that want to perhaps make one of those, it literally is four, four and a half foot of paracord, loop in one end, then slide on your toggle, then at the other end, a double over end knot, as a stopper knot so it doesn't slide off the opposite end. Then what you do is you form a prussic loop between the loop and the toggle, so it's above it. Then you pass one of the sides of the prussic, it's a loop, through the hole in the toggle and then do your knot. And that way it's actually trapped within your toggle. So when it's hanging down, it's locked. You want to adjust the height. If you want it lower, you just literally put your finger and thumb on the prussic above the toggle and slide it down. And that moves it down and again it's locked. If it's too low and you want to raise it, finger and thumb on the prussic, just slide it up to where you want it and then when you put your rucksack on there, the tension locks it all in place. It's as simple as that. Is this a requirement of that? No, it's just something because I had the toggles that I decided to have a play with. So, But this, in my opinion, very worthwhile. If you've got teenagers that you've done go bags for, or a significant other, people that haven't got experience of tying knots and erecting shelters, then this sort of thing will get them out of trouble with the minimum of training. Yeah, Get a sheet of paper, get a pen, do little stick men, just showing basically what, not, what has to be done, stick it in with their poncho. If you found the video useful, then please consider subscribing, give us one of them, and I'd love to read your comments. Have a great day, see you soon.